Now I'm sitting here with one of fashion's pioneers, Mr. Maurice Malone. Now, I have to say it is a pleasure and an honor to be finally meeting you. I saw a DVD of yours last week, of your last collection. And I know in 1990, you visited New York, and you got really inspired by the hip-hop scene up there and inspired some of your gear. Now, what other influences in hip-hop have inspired you in your life and your work? You have a good memory. Uh, what other events inspired me in hip-hop? Um, the hip-hop shop, uh, which I did in uh, the early 90s. Uh, when I went to New when I moved to New York, that inspired me. Like going to the thing I remember is going to a club called the Powerhouse, and uh, DJ, damn, I forgot his name. Uh, I know uh, DJ uh, Kid Capri was DJing, and um, and uh, Chris from uh, Boogie Down Production was the MC in. And they were doing like a live thing. He was rapping on the, he was rapping and people were dancing and doing flips and stuff. And that's when I got inspired by, really inspired by hip hop. Because I moved to New York, like on his house thing. And I was, like my roommates were crazy hip hop fans. And I was playing, we were both DJs, me and uh, one of the girls that stayed at the, at the place I stayed at. And I kept playing on, you know, Detroit, uh, techno and stuff like that. They were like, oh, yeah, turn it off, turn it off. And teasing me for playing house music and stuff. And uh, they introduced me to the hip hop scene. And ever since then, uh, going to those parties, I thought it was a good thing for Detroit. And I came back and started doing hip hop parties. Yeah, I did read that too, that you were doing hip hop parties. I never actually knew. I heard of hip hop shop. And unfortunately, I've never had opportunity to go in there. But um, yeah, the house, the parties. I thought that was like a genius idea. Um, like I said, you were very much so a pioneer. I remember when I was a teenager. I'm showing my age because I'm about to mention damage and use and cross colors and all those lines. And now I have on one of your garments right now, Mo Jeans, Maurice Malone creation right here. Um, but what I wanted to ask you too was, I see that you've gone like a totally different direction. It's kind of like you're still infusing your hip hop roots but it's more grown and sexy now. What brought about that change? Was that your grand scheme to take over the fashion world, or was it something else entirely? Well, I always do what I like. I don't, um, don't try to imitate or try to do something just to make money. And right now, like, younger kids are wearing, like, clothes so big I don't understand it. Like, like I, I drive down the street and see a guy wearing a T-shirt that come down to his knees and look like a dress. And I, I don't understand, like, the really young market, so I'm just doing things that are for the people that, like, grew up with me and, like, think the same way I think. And my style is the same. When I was doing uh, Mo Jeans back in the 90s, it was always um, not, like, real baggy and not tight, but, like, just right, and that's, like, my style still now. And right now, uh, like, my line is made for like 21 to 35 and uh, that's the target market. People that have jobs, people that can pay money, yeah, that can afford it. Um, I don't do like big logos and big crazy baggy things and stuff like that. It's just really nice quality clothes and that's what I like and that's what I do. Yeah, the grown and sexy clothes, pretty much. So would you, would you say that's what make, is that what makes your clothes pop or makes them hot or is it something entirely different? Well, I try to do things different. I try to, I look at things that, I, I try to stay classic, but give it a twist. And uh, what I like to do is make clothes that will give people that buy the clothes, uh, like, that will draw compliments to them. Because when, when uh, you get compliments, when people say, oh, that's a nice jacket, no matter what you pay for it, it makes you, makes you feel like it was well worth the purchase. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So, where can people find your garments now? Uh, here in Detroit, we're in Simply Casual, and uh, I think we should be in uh, Spectacles, downtown Detroit. Now, last word. Do you have any advice for the aspiring designers, minority or otherwise? Uh, for inspiring designers, I always tell them that uh, 
you have a dream, go for it, and your dream is not over until you quit. Well put, well put. Um, it was a pleasure being able to ask you a couple of questions. Glad you was good sport about it. Sat down and let me at, drill you for about five minutes. So we're going to let you get back to the party in your honor. Um, we are live at the Kiss and Makeup Maurice Malone relaunch party. And we had a chance to sit down with Mr. Malone himself. And it was a pleasure. It's nice meeting you. Thanks. Take care.